Fishing with an ultralight setup is one of my favorite ways to catch fish. Should you buy one? Let's talk about that. Hello and welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Fish Talk, a show where I have 5 minutes to discuss all things fishing. Guess what? This show appears every single Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time Zone, so click the red subscribe button and the bell below to stay tuned for future episodes. Let's get started. I just loaded 5 minutes on this timer here. You know what that means. Boop! It's time to get real. Talking about ultralight fishing today, it's not going to take five minutes. I don't even really know why I set the timer, but guess what? It's tradition, so we're going to keep on doing it. Ultralight fishing, why do I love it so much? Well, as you know, I catch small fish. What's great about an ultralight setup is that it makes a small fish feel like a big fish, and it makes a big fish feel like an enormous fish. That is why I love ultralight fishing. You're using very, very light gear and it makes it that much more challenging to land fish. And when you're catching like little bluegill, crappie, perch, so on and so forth, it's not just a muscle them in in two seconds. It's, you know, they're going to peel the drag too. And that, that's way more enjoyable, right? I mean, it, it gets the blood pumping. It gets you excited. That's why I fish them. And that's why I would recommend that you fish them as well. Now, regarding the gear that I'm fishing with, what setup I have. What's nice about ultralight fishing is that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get into it. This is about a $60 combo. I think you can find one much cheaper if you really wanted to get something um, just basic and entry level. It doesn't have to be a, you know, a brand new G Loomis rod. Quite honestly, that would be ridiculous if you're using that for an ultralight setup. This is a Shimano Sojourn rod. I, I don't know if I said that right. And a Shimano Sienna reel. I went with Shimano because I kind of, you know, I trust the brand. Um, but overall, you can kind of just get whatever. And then I went with four pound high visibility monofilament line, which is super, super cheap. I like mono in this situation because I don't think you really need to invest in some expensive fluorocarbon or braided fishing line. And monofilament tends to perform pretty well with the very, very light lines. I don't like it very much. It tends to tangle up a little bit more once you get into the heavier lines, but I love it for this setup. It works very, very well. And then overall though, it's not about the rod and real company choose whatever you like. It's kind of about the action. I went with a five foot rod. It happens to be an ultra light power as we've talked about, um, but then it is actually a uh, fast action. And so what I mean by that is it's got a little bit of backbone to it. And so that way I can drive the hook home. Just because it's a small hook doesn't mean it doesn't need to be drove home. And then if you get a five pound bass to eat it, it's gonna be nice to be able to make sure that that fish gets hooked and then probably break off later, but it's gonna be one heck of a ride while he's on there. Regardless, you know, I don't have a ton of stuff to talk about. I mostly just wanted to get you excited about this as well, make you think about potentially getting one. I know a lot of people that have got them in the past, and then as soon as they start catching fish on them, they realize just how much fun it is. So I think every single angler should have an ultralight setup um, just around. And you don't, like I said, don't have to invest a ton of money. You can check out my gear, it's all linked in the description. But, anyways, no sense in making this thing go on. <sighs> That's a wrap, folks. Thank you so very much for watching. What's your thoughts on the ultralight setup? Do you want one? Do you currently have one? What are your thoughts? Also, make sure to look out for future videos because I am going to keep fishing with this thing. I've done it in the past, but I'm going to do it again because I love my ultralight setup. But now you know what I'm going to say, right? Have yourself a fantastic weekend, and uh, we'll catch you next time.